shave so thank you for joining me for a sunday shave and thank you and welcome to all the new subscribers i appreciate every single one of you and that includes you guys too right and i'm talking a bit quiet because we've got the granddaughter she's had a sleepover this weekend and they're still asleep as it's about quarter six i've got to go to work hence the shave the early shave right shut up chris you're waffling what are we using Obviously, as you can see from the thumbnail, we are using Barrister and Man Electric Mayhem. Superb label. And what I love about Will Soap's Barrister and Man is that he gets his inspiration from music, for the scents. And as you can tell from the label, you've got the old speaker there, gramophone speaker with a robot and the, the notes. So it's sort of like bringing in the old with the new is like um, um, jazz, he loves jazz and it's a mixture of jazz and house electric music, like house music, it's the best way I can explain it and it, it's, it's a nice scent, it's not entirely for me I have to admit, scent strength's about a five, it's nice, and there's the pawn you can see I've scooped a bit out, and I've scooped it out on purpose because I will be passing this on to someone. It's nice, it's nice. It's just not for me. The scent notes are yuzu, yuzu, tamarind, plum, geranium, sorry, no, galbanum, clary sage, rosewood, amberith, amberith seed, and white musk. I get the musk in the rose. Definitely get the rosewood. That comes really forward. And in the back, I can get the, like the citrus from the fruits. It, it is nice. It's just not for me. But we're going to use it anyway. Right. What we're going to whip it up in? I've got my crackers bowl. And I'll try and put a link to this where uh, in the description. When I got it from, it's a nice bowl, that was my first ever bowl, proper shaving bowl. And I'm going to be whipping it up with my Yaki 24mm Chianti. Sorry guys, couldn't resist that. Nice knot. So get that in the water. Fancy the single edge today, and I've got my Razorock Hawk V3. And this is, head is the A version, which is the most aggressive. Beautiful stainless steel, 316 marine grade steel. I've got the sure grip handle on this one. Exceptional grip, beautifully designed with tolerances for the prices. Fantastic. My go-to blade for a single edge, I thought that had a blade in it though, is ProGuard. Feather ProGuard is my go-to blade. And I have one here, I think it's even on its second or third use. My voice is going a bit funny. So, I'm gonna pop that on there. No, I'm not. I'm gonna pop it on there. Like so. Put the head cap on. I'm fingers and thumbs this morning, I still haven't woken up. What are you doing, Chris? Honestly, God. There we go. You can see the Raz Rock. Can't hold it properly. Got pins and needles in my fingers this morning. Let's get the handle back on. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit tired this morning, guys. Right, let's get whipping up. See how we go. And this is in the Omnibus base, which is an exceptional base. Any of you guys that have used Barrister Man in the Omni, Omni, Omnibus base will know. It's, it's what I like about the base is that it's pasty. So you can customize your own lather. It helps whether you want it thick and dense or you know you want a bit of bit more water to it because it it can take a lot of water it can take a huge amount of water 
Now I like it just like that. So here we go. With the face like the water out. Yeah, the, the inspiration for scents from music is it's fantastic because a, a lot of the art sounds travel the world for the different scents. And a lot of a lot of work, time and re re research, I can't get any words out, research goes into every scent. And they don't always work out, but they, you know, they just keep at it. Like, I think Doug and Fran, I love their soaps because there's a bit of history behind the soap, the scent. And I think Peter from Mariana and Evans, the key travels the world as well, for different scents. And we create them. Oh, right. Wake up, Chris. Yes, I haven't had a haircut. I planned on doing it yesterday. Here we go, first pass. Not a rock hawk. Barristan and man. Electric mayhem. I absolutely love this razor. It's one of my favorite. Single edge. And they say it shaves just as good as the Vector, which I have. And in my own personal opinion, I think the hawk's a bit smoother. I have to be careful around here. I've, I remember that little bump from last time, and I, I think it's still there. So, what do you guys think of the base? The ominous base with these soaps. Let me know your opinion in the, in the comments. Yeah, it's my day off yesterday. And I had all these plans. Gotta sort out the den and, and everything. Spent most of the day in bed, to be honest. I think I did over a thousand miles on the road last week. And it just wiped me out the last day, on Friday. I was on a beautiful delivery. A place called Welshpool in Wales. Um, when I finished the delivery, it was an hour and 40 minutes away from my house. So it was way out there. Beautiful delivery, scenery, old buildings. People were nice. Slickness straight away, fantastic. I absolutely love Barrister and Man's hopes. It's just that this, this is the only scent that hasn't really agreed with me. It's nice, it's pleasant. Like I said, it's just not for me. And I think, I get that impression from Barrister and Man. It, it, it's like they, they know that not every soap is gonna be a hit. It's, it's either hit or miss and it, it they just seem to go with that, you know? I think most artists know that they're not going to please everybody. But there's, I think there's only ever been, I think there's been two soaps that I bought because I, I like the notes and the scents. You know, it was kind of me. And when I got it and smelled it, didn't even use it. Thought, no, not for me. And I, I gave them away. This scent isn't for me either, but it's a scent that I could cope with and put up with, but 
it's not one that I'm keeping reach for quite often. So if I'm not going to use it, I'm going to give it away. And that's what I'm going to do. So how's your weekend going, guys? Okay. Did you have a list of jobs to do and you just didn't get round to doing them? I think the only thing I did yesterday constructive was uh, I washed the land and fueled it up ready for this week's work. today. I cover Oz Street and Shrewsbury, if anybody knows where that is. Well, fantastic shame. If you ever think you know, about getting a single edge, Maybe for your first single edge, anybody out there, I'd recommend the uh, the Razorock Hawk V3. They do a V2, is that the aluminium, aluminium one, the black one? I have that, I've used it a couple of times. It's just a bit too light for me. But it's a nice piece for the collection. I've got a few razors that I don't use, but the knives for the collection. I've got a new razor coming in a couple of weeks as well. I've got kind of a bundle package coming. Right, purchased. So that'll be either late next week or early the week after. So look forward to that. Here we go. Final pass against the growth. Hear that? Beautiful sound. Absolutely love that sound. Yeah, I've got a new race and some soaps. Matching splashes coming. I'm up early as well because I've got this video and I've got another video to do which will be up later on guys sometime this afternoon I wasn't gonna I'll explain on the video I won't say anything just yet I can already feel and tell this is a, gonna be a BBS. Just tell. I find with these blades, I can go straight to the, against the growth on the top lip. I don't know if you can hear that dripping, it's not the tap. I've got the window cracked and it's been raining, it's just dripping from the gutter. I think they need cleaning out. I'll do it when the scaffolding comes. Because we're having, um, I think it's a week on Tuesday, we're having solar panels put on the roof. So when the scaffolding's up, I'll. Uh, Them out there. Ready for the winter. 
the slickness. The slickness is superb. Great quality soap. Wow. There's barely anything there, even for the pickups. I'm going for it anyway. <laughs> and don't forget guys, let me know what you're shaving with today your SOTDs in the comments. Thank you for all your comments. Read every single one of them. Here we go, pick up time. Beautiful. Another great shave. I don't think I'm going to feel anything off this. Not a thing. Not a single thing. Wow, beautiful. Oh, what a great shave. Look at the results. Yeah. Start to wake up a little bit more now. <laughs> right, aftershave, we've got the matching aftershave. Electric Mayhem. I like the title, the name. Wakey, wakey. It's more. Prominence, I'd say the scent strength for the splash has got to be seven, seven and a half. I get more clarity sage with the splash. I do get still get the uh, the woodiness. Like I say, it's nice, it's pleasant, it's just not for me. I know I keep repeating myself. Oh, bomb is how would you pronounce that? Revel, 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 review, poche bomb. I can't even remember where I got this from. It might have been super drug. As always, I'll leave all, a link in the description wherever I can for the products that I've used and where I got them from. So you can have a look see yourself. It's got a nice pleasant bit of scent to it, this has. That goes quite well together, that cup. Look holes and elbows. Especially in this weather. Now that was the most enjoyable shave. Right, I'm gonna do another video and then I'm gonna get ready and go to work. And I'm going early. Because I fancy a full English breakfast this morning, so I'm gonna to go to a cafe on the way. It's something down me for a busy day. Right, that's the shave guys. Um, sorry if I'm a bit. <laughs> I'm just tired. Right, have a fantastic rest of your weekend. Have a great Sunday. Have some fantastic shaves, guys, and don't forget to let me know what you're using. Um, and that's it. And I'll see you on Wednesday for the Wednesday shave. It's going to be a special shave. I'll see you then. Until then, take care, stay smooth, stay safe.